Welcome back guys. Today we've got a knot tutorial. We're going to be going over alternatives to the cow's hitch or lark's head knot for attaching paracord to bracelet buckles. So I've got here a bull hitch and a form of a prusik knot or prusik hitch. They're both very similar to a cow's hitch. So let's dive right in. So this first knot falls into the friction hitch category. It's a halfway point between a cow's hitch and a prusik knot. It's one more pass than a cow's hitch, one less than, than a typical Prusik knot. So we'll just start by going down through the middle, like you do for a normal cow's hitch. I've got a bigger buckle here. Sometimes people like to put a bigger buckle on their, their bracelets, and so this knot is especially useful for that. So I've got my normal cow's hitch, and then I'm just going to add another wrap to to the hitch by bringing it once more around and down through the middle. There's a number of ways you could do this. You could just make it in one end if you wanted to, but I'm making it in the middle. So this would keep your cord from sliding back and forth because you've got a bigger surface area to cover on your buckle. Once you've got those through, just kind of line them up nice. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Now for the bull hitch, we're going to do much the same as for the cow's hitch again, by sticking it down through the middle and feeding our end through. And then we're just going to add a decorative twist on this one. So twist the, the loop once and then feed your tail end back through. And then you'll have to get the tw extra twist out of there. This one's easier to make with flat webbing because then you can tell if your cord is twisted or not. Once you get the twist out, tighten it down. It'll take a little bit of working to get it looking nice and even. But once you do, you'll have this nice crossover X in the middle. So I'm going to go over this one more time with an alternative way to tie it. It's really helpful if you don't have access to the other ends of your cord. So you would stick it through just like before, sticking it in through the top, but you can just pull it over your buckle instead. And then with that second twist you can also do the same thing. Twist it once, bring it around your buckle again. In some situations, that's going to be a lot easier than trying to find the end of your, your cord. And tighten it down again. So there you go, there's the bull's hitch. So here are two different ways that you can attach your paracord to your bracelet buckles. I went ahead and made some bracelet weaves in both of them. This bull hitch looks really good with a snake knot bracelet. It just blends right into your other knots. And this wider Prusik-like knot looks pretty good on survival bracelets if you want that bigger buckle. If you want to learn more about paracord crafting, we've linked our video to the six most used paracord crafting knots in the description below. If you guys have any other ideas of knots that we should cover or other ways of attaching your paracord to your bracelets, let us know in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button and check out the rest of our channel. Thanks for watching.